Crown Zenith is officially here, guys. Quite possibly the coolest set of Sword and Shield. I've already had some really, really awesome pulls from my first 46 packs, but today I want to open up two more Elite Trainer boxes and another Reggie Eleki box to see how many pulls I can add to this binder. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. Leave a like on this video and if you haven't already, follow the channel by hitting that totally free subscribe button. I think I want to start out with the Reggie Eleki box. Let's open this up. All right, in the Reggie Eleki box, you're going to get a Reggie Eleki V promo. Surprise. You're also going to get this nice little hollow reprint from Evolving Skies of Reggie Drago and bam, a code for you. Get you these in the online game. Let's set these aside over here and let's definitely set aside yet another jumbo card that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. Four packs of Crown Zenith. I've had some crazy pulls already that I really can't believe. The last two cards that I personally want to pull, not the last two that I need for the binder. Need a bunch of them for the binder still. But the last two cards that I really want to pull would be the Mewtwo V-Star from the Galarian Gallery and the Gold Arceus from the Galarian Gallery as well. So if I can hit even one of those today, I'll be stoked. Here we go. Crown Zenith though, turning out to be probably my favorite set of everything to come out during Sword and Shield. We've got Ponard, Bead with the autograph, and there we go, starting the day off with a really nice metal energy with that texture. Now the metal, the energy cards that have the texture on it will be in the rare slot. The regular just reverse energies will be in the reverse slot, but this one is really awesome and one that I needed for the binder. So let's drop you into a sleeve. I think I'm gonna start the front of the Crown Zenith binder with all of the energy cards. Let's see if I can pull a few more of them. I think I've pulled the fire and the water textured and now the metal. And then I've pulled a couple of just the regular reverses too. Bam, here we go. Another code for you. These codes should be working today. I think this video is going to come out one day after the official release of Crown Zenith. Dusclops, wait a sec. Look how awesome that Dusclops is. For just a, a regular card, that is pretty, pretty cool. We got Switch, Snow Runt, Larvista, and there we go. Adding another one to the Galarian Gallery. We got the Full Art Melanie. I still think it's fair to call him a Full Art, even though it's the Galarian Gallery. Melanie hiding just another Enamorous. That's okay, though. Let's drop Melanie into a sleeve, and then let's drop Melanie into the binder. There we go. Two more packs here. It's cool whenever a new set comes out too because I'm actually kind of able to really remember what's in the binder already and what isn't. Bam, here we go. Another code for you. Is, is it possible for me to show a code card and not say bam? I don't think it is. Electric Energy again. We've got Shaman, Crushing Hammer, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Larvista, Ponard, Whalmer, Cricketoot for our reverse, and the non hollow Lipard. Lipard's turning out to be, I think, the non hollow rare that I pull the most. But here we go. Last pack magic from this uh, Reggie Eleki box. Added one to the binder, added a glaring gallery pull to the binder, so I'm pretty stoked with this one. If you saw my last video though, I don't know, I feel like maybe the Elite Trainer boxes are going to turn out to be a little better than the Reggie boxes. I don't know, for me at least. Can't wait to see what you guys pull too. Let me know in the comments what your favorite product is between the three of them. Sunker! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> No way! No way! Another Giratina Gold V-Star! I really just wanted to pull the Arceus. Maybe this means I can go trade for the Arceus already, but that's gonna be really hard to trade away another Giratina V-Star. Unreal. What's Giratina hiding? A hollow Absol that I definitely needed for the binder. I saw that gold and thought, no way is this gonna be the Arceus. Last thing on my mind was that it was going to be another Giratina V-Star. I don't know, is it? You know what, I think we gotta drop this into a top loader right here. What do you guys think? Are these gold Galarian galleries gonna be a little too easy to pull? Or did I just get like insanely lucky with another Giratina V-Star? Let's set you over here. I think we gotta start out with 
this Erno start out with. Uh, that pull just completely threw me off. I was definitely not expecting that. Let's grab the Giratina pin, which gave us some pretty awesome luck the first time, and let's get into this first Elite Trainer box. I can't wait to open more Crown Zenith. I'm feeling a lot more confident about completing it than I am Shining Fates. I think the Galarian Gallery is going to be easier to finish than the Baby Shiny Gallery. Let's grab the packs out of here. You guys have seen the contents of the ETB on my first video when I opened up three of them, but I will grab the Lucario V-Star out of here. Set you just to the side so you stay safe. All of the other contents can stay in there. And let's make sure I got 10 packs. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Let's start off with the front here. So far, my ETBs have been a little, little bit better than the Reggie boxes, but now, honestly, I don't know. I mean, gold from the ETB, gold from the Reggies, Charizard from the ETBs, Charizard from the Reggies. Uh, this is crazy. Can we just see that Mewtwo V Star appear today? We've got Shinx, Corpish, Ponard, Baltoy, and Enamorous in the first pack. All right. I don't know. I'm afraid to say out loud. I'm afraid, afraid to jinx it. Is it jinxing it? Or, or am I able to just like call it out? Here we go. Another code for you. Let me know what you guys are getting in these codes too. Let me know if you pull that gold Arceus or the Mewtwo in the codes before I pull it as a card. Friends and Sinnoh, Oddish, Seal, Potion, A. Oh, always want to say AA, Ron, but it's just one A. Tangrowth for the reverse and Helioasic for our rare. Okay, first two packs, nothing crazy from this ETB. Will this be my first uh, kind of dud ETB or will there be a, at least one nice pull hiding in it? Bam, as long as I can add some more Galarian galleries to the binder today, I'll be stoked. And I don't know why, but I feel like I have a lot better shot of pulling nearly all of them, or if not all of them on my own, than Shining Fates. Here we go, Ball Toy, Whalemur, and the Leafeon V. Always happy with a nice evolution pull, and this is one that's going into the binder. Bam, Leafeon V, let's drop you in there. Now, I like to set my binders up a little bit differently. I like to see all the Vs and the V stars and V maxes together. So when I'm putting the binder together in the front with all the commons, uncommons, non hollow rares and hollow rares i like to skip the part where a v or a v star would go and just fill it in with the next common uncommon and then at the back i put all the v's the v stars v maxes next to each other and then it finishes this the rest of the main set and then the galarian gallery starts so i can just flip to the back and see all of my favorite cards la vista and doubling up on the galarian gallery the lapras hiding a hollow hop which actually needed this hollow hop for the binder we'll set you aside lapras Duplicate Lapras here is going into the trade pile, so I can trade to complete some of this Galarian Gallery. <sighs> I just looked over and saw the Giratina, and I cannot believe that that happened. Here we go, another code, bam. We gotta rip through these, got a whole nother ETB to do after this one, but I like doing the pack trick when a new set comes out. I like the buildup that it has to get to the end of the pack and see what's there. Panchum, Snow Runt, Rock Ruff, Zamazenta, and Zara Aura. Zamazenta being my favorite one of the two doggos. Let me know in the comments. I know Zacian's probably everybody's favorite, but I really like Zamazenta. Bam, kind of reminds me of my dog. Four to the front here. Can't wait to open some more V-Star Universe. V-Star Universe. What am I saying? That Giratina pull just destroyed my brain. Can't wait to open some more of this even after I'm done with this video. And Manaphy from the Trainer Gallery, one that I needed in the binder. That's awesome. Can we double it up? Oh, I think not. Another Sky Seal Stone. That's crazy. I feel like I've pulled kind of like way too many of those, but look how cool this Manaphy is. This artwork on the Glaring Gallery is incredible, guys. I I don't know. I think I I think I can say that I like it more than the Trainer Gallery, but they're all really awesome. I wanted to have a binder where I just put all of the Trainer Galleries and the whole Glaring Gallery all in one, but it's been hard to kind of like separate them. I don't know. That would look really cool though. Just one binder with all of them. We've got Great Ball, Gloom, Salandent, Purloin, Grubbin, Screlp, 
Helioptile and a very nice reverse hollow psychic energy hiding a Yon Mega, reminding me of Champions, or not Champions Path, reminding me of Shining Fates. Here we go. Psychic reverse energy going into the sleeve and going into the binder. I need to decide exactly where I want to put the regular reverses though, because I think I want to start the front of the binder off, bam, with the uh, textured energies here we go four to the front and we've got electric energy great ball gloom friends and Sinnoh, salandin energy surge grubbin screlp wooloo digging duo and sizor for the rare sizor being another one that i needed for the binder though so i'll set it aside two packs left from this etb one more etb after this let's get this code out of the way for you i'm excited to see all of the next products coming out for crown zenith too i think it's cool how they're kind of staggering the release of all the different products like that so it's just not all hitting the shelf at once we got a bunch of stuff to look forward to coughing and radiant charger bug i think i've almost pulled all of the radiance now radiant charger bug that one actually looks really cool i feel like the electric and the dragon types really uh, like this yellow background really shows the uh, radiant effect very well radiant charger bug I mean, a Charizard V. Can't complain with that. Let's drop both of these into a sleeve, and then let's drop both of them into a binder to Bam, Radiant Charger Bug, and Charizard V. This would be the reprint from... Um Ooh, Brilliant Stars? Yeah, Brilliant Stars. It's crazy how long ago Brilliant Stars came out. It still feels like a brand new set. It's weird. Last pack magic here from this first ETB, which honestly, I feel like this ETB turned out pretty good. I know I hit a few duplicates, but grabbed some that I needed for the binder too. We've got Luxio, Kor Koro Soul Rock, Wulu, Shinx, Pancham, Snow Runt, Ponard, and a Thievil from the Galarian Gallery. This is actually some really, really cool artwork. I love how subtle it is. Just a handful of colors on there. Not too bright, not too much. Really cool. Thievil, can we, are you hiding another pull? Just the hollow Tapu Lele, but hollow Tapu Lele going into the binder with Thievil too. This is like, of all the sets I've opened, like as they come out, I feel like this is the most pulls that I've gotten for anything. Let's get into this second ETB right here. Just grab the packs right out of it. I feel like Giratina pin has definitely been doing its job in delivering the luck. Set the little booklet aside, grab all of this here and just grab all of the packs out. I'll get that Lucario V-Star out of there a little bit later. Let's just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Here we go. Start from the bottom this time. Mewtwo V-Star and Gold Arceus. Still looking for those, but absolutely shocked that I pulled another gold Giratina. I'm curious out of the four golds too, which one's gonna kinda end up on top. I would guess the Arceus and probably the Giratina, but I'm curious between those two, which one it'll be. Ponard, Tangela, Ball Toy, Luxio, and Bellasume for the first pack. All right, let's see if going backwards helps this one out. Obviously, that won't change anything, bam. But so far, super, super happy with Crown Zenith. Let's get four to the front here. Hopefully you guys are getting some awesome pulls at home as well. We got Salazil, Pokemon Catcher, Graveler, Shinx, Larvista, Oddish, Seal, Potion, and the Deoxys. There we go from the Galarian Gallery. Look at this card. That is incredible. The colors on there. I love the ones that give us a nice scenery in the background. Deoxys hiding the Volcarona. All right, dropping you into a sleeve and dropping you into a binder. Bam, honestly, I know I've uh, pulled some duplicates already. Oh, I shouldn't say this out loud. I'm gonna say it anyways. I'm surprised I haven't pulled more duplicates. Hopefully there's no more in this one, unless it's another gold. Bam, here we go. Let's get four to the front. Really wanna see that Mewtwo V-Star though. We got Lucky Leaf Energy, Ultra Ball, Luxio, Crushing Hammer, Emo Emolga, Love Disc, Chatot, Yanma, Ponard, Shinx, and a Whale Lord. All right, I don't know. How's this ETB gonna turn out? Of all the ones I've opened, this might be the ETB with the lowest amount of hits. Bam, upside down code for you. I'm sure you guys can still grab it. Four to the front. I kind of do get tired of saying that. 
Just kidding. I never get tired of saying that. I think I saw something at the back of this one, though. We got Ponard, Tangela, Ball Toy, Meowth, Whalmer, Galarian Perserker, and the Zara Aura V. All right, looks like I'm pulling some dupes of the Zara Aura V. I feel like the Vs might be a little more common in here than the other ones, but let's keep it going. I'm feeling confident about this ETB still. And if I'm being honest, I'm definitely gonna open some more Crown Zenith in the next video too. Let's get four to the front. This set is too, too incredible. I just wanna pull every one of these Galarian galleries. Pokeball, Young Goose, Cherubi, Execute, Energy Retrieval, Absol, and wait, Oh, it looked like the reverse absol for a second and Oranguru for the non hollow rare. Nothing in this one. I don't know. This ETB, this might be like the one kind of dud ETB. If you guys know me, if you've been watching the channel for a while, the holiday set ETBs, I don't know. They usually don't have the fire, but those first uh, three that I opened definitely had the major fire in them. Shinx, Pancham, Snow Runt, and there we go. The Pikachu from the Galarian Gallery that makes up the whole art piece when you put all nine of them together on the page. There we go. I've officially now pulled both of the Pikachus. This is, I know I said Mewtwo and the Arceus, but this is definitely a runner up pull for me. Pikachu hiding the Hollow Entei, which also is going into the binder. Let's drop Pikachu. Pikachu into a sleeve here. Bam. So, so cool. I think Pikachu and Riolu now are the only ones I've pulled that, uh, that make the little scene like that. So, need a few more of them. Hopefully, I'm getting closer. Bam. Another code for you. And I take it back. This was definitely not a dud ETB. Fire Energy, Matang, Trekking Shoes, Soul Rock, Rock Rough. Shout out to Rudy, AA Ron, Riolu, Starly, Scyther, Young Goose in the Galarian Gallery, and just a Bellasume for the rare. Three packs left here, guys. I probably I sound like a broken record already, but Crown Zenith might be my favorite set to come out during Sword and Shield. I know it's not like technically, technically Sword and Shield, but it came out during Sword and Shield. We're gonna all remember it as being a Sword and Shield set. Here we go. Psychic Energy, Trekking Shoes, Luxio, Rare Candy, Bidoof. I think I've now pulled all of the common, uncommon, hollow, and non-hollow rares too for this set. We got Rare Candy and the Dub Wool. Champion's Path finds a way to haunt me still, no matter what. Maybe I'll start like a some kind of petition to, uh, we can go at least like one or two sets without Dub Wool or um, Yan Mega. I can feel okay. Here we go. Four to the front, and we got the Metal Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Graveler, Digging Duo, Whalmer, Shinx, Corpish, Ponard, Seal, Korokorok in our Galarian Gallery, Ugh, and the non hollow Zara Aura for the rare. All right, it all comes down to this, but honestly, Pulling that Giratina again today was way, way more than I expected. I, I, I didn't think I'd even pull it once, so pulling it twice is like, I, I'm gonna just probably be staring at those cards for the whole rest of the night. Let's get four to the front for the last time here today, guys. We've got Water Energy. Big shout out to you guys for making it all the way to the end of this video as well. Sunkern, we've got Bidoof, Coughing, Salandin, Purloin, ah, uh, Whalmer in the Galarian Gallery. Can we still see some last pack magic? Oh, it's just an enamorous non holo for the rare. All right, let's take a look at the binder here. I like to start the first page off by putting the sleeves in that come with the ETB. I just think it's a cool way to start it off and it lets me know right when I open up what's in what in case I end up getting another color of the same binder. Now, I like to skip the spots where the Vs, the Vmaxes, and the V stars would go. So the spots you see missing here are just other commons, uncommons, and hollow rares. But I like to put all of these together in the front like this, fill it all in with the commons, uncommons, hollow rares, and then at the back here, after all of the trainers and stuff like that, I like to put all of the Vs, Vmaxes, and V stars next to each other so I can see them all on one page. And I put these energies in here as markers so I can remember what goes what. This is gonna be the Charizard Vs, 
V-Star, the Simisir, Simisir V-Star, etc., all the Zara Auras. And so filling this out, I can't believe it already, 70% of the main set done and 27% of the Galarian Gallery. Now on this page here, I put all the radiance. I'm gonna fill in the textured energies here, the extra cards that are at the end of the set. And I'm saving this page with some room here for the promos that are gonna come out. And then right here starts the Galarian Gallery. This is so, so awesome. It was so fun to put this together and I can't believe that I pulled this many of them already. One of the, my favorites, definitely the Pikachu right here in that Mew, the Zara Aura V Max. Got a bunch of gaps right here. The Sharon's Care and the Melanie is the last one and it should finish around here or so. So definitely a lot of empty spaces. Can't wait to open up some more Crown Zenith over the next few weeks. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday, but until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.